What's going on, everyone? IVG here, coach of the time terms here for my week one team builder and post commentary for my ballot against Z winners. I know it says Shadow for one right here, and I had to restart, but anyways, let's get it off that topic. Um, before I talk about the team building, I did want to say that I'd had right before the battle, I did not know that we were supposed to set the Pokemon to level 50, so I basically just built the team straight out the back without changing uh the sets or anything because it was just like last second so i just changed the levels and it just looking back at it now it did affect my team a whole bunch um even though it was like a little bit of change it did affect the whole team a whole bunch right i'm just gonna change this real quick uh okay back to it but um that's just something to quote before i go back to for whenever I review the battle, but anyways, I just look at the team. I wrote uh, Shad for one because I did uh, team building before I had done this uh, recording session. But anyways, get, getting off of that, I'm just gonna go uh, down the list of his Pokemon. Um, starting off, he had Mimikyu. Um, pretty good Pokemon with disguise ability. It can easily set up or get off a free hit. Unless you have Mold Breaker, which doesn't, which breaks through it and c doesn't break the skies, but it goes through it, so you still do damage besides it. But Mimikyu is a pretty good Pokemon, being really good offensively. You could be like a support with like Will O Wisp or sub. Will O Wisp or like Trick Room or something like that. Next up, we had Superior, which is a very fast Pokemon. Did not set this thing all the way to um, max speed, but this max speed, um, pretty good Pokemon. Pretty well known for uh, contrary Leaf Storm, boosting a special attack every time it goes for Leaf Storm, and then being able to hit even harder after the next hit. Pretty good Pokemon for Superior. You can run, possibly even run like physical since it's attack and special attack are both the same. Not one to judge here. Um, Toxpex, he does have real bulky Pokemon on both, on both physical and special side. Can honestly just like take any hits that it wants to, if not. And if you honestly plan right, you could break this thing down, but it's very hard to do such a thing. Um, he also has Chansey, very good Spadef wall on his team. Also gives him a, a Hazard Setter and a Cleric, might I add. Crobat, a really fast Pokemon, could be a utility Pokemon with like Taunt to stop setup, Toxic to build on Pokemon. Could even just Defog away rocks. Or it could be like your offensive hitter, because I know this thing um, could pack a punch with many. It's, Move pull. Espeon, very fast Pokemon. Um, can hit even harder than what other Pokemon see it as. Pack a uh, choice specs with this thing and it honestly tears through a team. Zorak is a little bit of tricky Pokemon. It is fast too. Of course, with illusion ability, it is hard to tell whether it's the original Pokemon or just a Zorak. Unless you see like a move and you're able to point out that it's a Zorak. Could honestly be run physical or special. Though it has a higher special attack, but not one to judge. Uh, Talonflame, real fast Pokemon. Um, di <laughs> real weakness to rocks, but anything. Got nerfed this generation because Gale Wings now only works if you're at full health instead of at any health. And brings a priority move for flying type, any flying type move it has. But that's it. Ditto. Can honestly be anything that it wants to be as long as it's able to see what the opponent is and turn into that Pokemon with the ability of Poster and just take on the form. And most of the time you see this thing run with like a choice guard just to outspeed the Pokemon you have. Tangela, real bulky Pokemon with generator, uh Evil Light, and probably just like max HP. It honestly just sits in front of a Pokemon, takes a hit, and then could fire back and do a little damage. Heck you and put a Pokemon to sleep. And this final Pokemon is Mega Tyranitar. I did put Tyranitar, but I'm just putting it just so I can fill in a full spot. But his actual last Pokemon and his Mega was Mega Tyranitar. A uh, real hard-hitting Pokemon. Has an okay speed stab, but with the Dragon Dance, it honestly just tears through a team with that attack stat as well. Pretty bulky if built the right way because that 150 defense. But anyways, let's get back to it. Go back to my team. 
Uh, like I said before, I built this team based off of level 100 and not level 50. So the sets got, or the set, or the reason it was built was based on one level, level 100. And it turned out to be different. But anyways, just get just getting to it. Uh, first off, we have V Buck, the bikini expert build, because I did not want to run Life Orb to take with, to take damage or recoil damage. Um, ran Blue Flare, Psychic, Focus Blast, and U-Turn. Blue Flare and Psychic are stat moves that are really good to have. Focus Blast is to hit the Tyranitar hard. Also, it's a Chansey if it's and does a lot of damage to it. If I get rid of that Evil Evil Light it carries, and also does damage a good coverage move to have for against Zorak. And U-Turn is just basically a switch initiative move to get me switch in and out of the battle, and probably being in a bigger threat to deal with. Um, the 224 in speed was originally supposed to outspeed Mimikyu, but at level 50, it speed ties with Mimikyu, so messed up that set. Ran max HP, and the 32 in HP was to get an odd number, and also so just to put some put the rest of the EVs into, but that's it for V-Buck. Next up, we have Chug Jug, the Gudra, Assault Vest with Sap Sipper, to, um, be a counter to superior and also tangle it for in case it runs like sleep powder. Um, of course, I had ran Jericho Meteor because of stab. Can never go wrong with stab. A stab move. Sludge Wave covers against the superior, the Mimikyu, um, and the Tangela. Thunderbolt hits the uh, Toxapex, the Crobat, and the Talonflame. And the superpower is only, is only for, or mainly for the Tyranitar. I believe off the top of my head, it does like 80 to 90 to a ty to Mega Tyranitar. Of course, it, that means it does not kill it off from full health, but I just wanted some big damage on the Tyranitar just to give it, just so that something faster could come in and deal with it. And I could also use Superpower for Chansey, though I would prefer to have the Evil Light taken off of Chansey. And then click superpowers just so so that the chance he would go down a little bit easier. Uh, next up we have Gabriella, the Galvantula choice specs I'm running this week. Thunder Bolt Switch, Bug Buzz, and Hidden Power Fighting. This thing honestly tears through his team with this set alone. Uh, Thunder uh, is a stat move that he decided to carry. Course of Compound Out boosts the accuracy of it, so it's more likely to hit Thunder than to miss. Bolt Switch just like U turn. But Bikini gives me switch initiative and, can go, and I could go to another Pokemon. Uh, Bug Buzz, like Thunder, was a sad move that I just wanted to carry for coverage. And him power fighting was just something that I wanted to carry to hit uh, Tyranitar better and to hit Chansey a little bit better. Uh, max special attack. Uh, 232 speed and timid nature was originally supposed to outspeed the Zoroark, but I ended up speed speed tying it at level 50. So of course, no mess up on there. Um, next up we have Cody the Araquanid that decided to run YMZ to boost up with the liquidation. Leech life is another side move that helps me get recover HP. Psychic webs if you decide to set up lowers the speed. Lower speed step by one on switching and Miracle helps me against uh, Espeon in case it hits me hard with like a Psy Shock or a Psy Kick that I'm able to hit back hard and not have to worry about like don't know what I was thinking so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Okay, so 240 H attack because I wanted to run uh, 112 deals me a, a whole lot better on. Both the defensive, physically defensive, and special defensive side. The 148 is to outspeed Tangela, and even though I did check it at level 100, it still outspeeds Tangela by one point, or like a no speed Tangela. If you put like no investment in speed at all, even if you didn't like run like a quiet nature or a speed hindering nature, I still at speed. If you put like one, like a little bit of investment in speed, he does outspeed me or speed tie with me. So this. Uh, speed EVs was still at speed Tangela. And of course, William Z with liquidation just runs through his team if it's not Toxapex. <laughs> Next up, we have Hudson, the Rhydon Eviolite 
could not find an ability, so I just put Reckless on this thing. Rock Slide and Earthquake on my stab moves. Mega Horn covers for Superior, Espeon, Zorak, and Tangela. And then Rock Polish is the set up to sweep. We had max attack, just 8, and HP for on number uh, on number HP. We had a little extra in special defense. And we had 244 uh, speed Jolly Nature because from level 100, it outsped Talonflame, but did not outspeed Crobat. But at level 50, it ends up speed tying with Crobat. Just a little fun, something to know. And last up, but not least, we do have Titanium Diagron. Ran Suri, so what, that way, if I do come in on uh, a move, I do live the hit. Though I do end up just wasting Agron. But other than that, um, ran Heavy Slam for stab move. Nothing really wants to take it. Um, Earthquake is for Toxapex, and Ice Punch is for Superior, Crobat, and Tangela. And then Stealth Rocker is just for ha a Hazard Setter. Ran Max Defense. Almost max HP and having that little bit in special defense. And ran a careful, careful nature to just build, deal a little bit better on special side. And that's my team. I'm going to go straight into the uh, replay just so we can finish off this week and speed up. I feel like for this league, I'm going to do the team builder and the post commentary together. And for the NPL, I'm just going to have the team builder and the post commentary separate. But anyways, let's get look into this. He brings Mimikyu, Mega Tyranitar, Espeon, Crobat, Toxpex, and Tangela. I honestly did not expect him to bring Tangela. I expected him to bring Superior over it. And other than that, that's really it. Only other one thing I could see him changing is probably like the Crobat. He could exchange it out for like uh, Chansey. Zork, I would have actually been surprised, but then again, he has Tyranitar, which is a better dark type. Ditto could have came, honestly, because it could be go against any team. But just by this team, it looks like it seemed already good enough. So let's get into it. I'm going to put this on real slow so that way I can go through it easily and turn off music so it won't blast in my ears. Uh, turn 1, I lead off with Galvantula while he leads off with Tangela. Right here, I'm going to make it play and go for the Volt Switch. Just in case we decide to switch out, but he ends up staying in. So, since he stayed in, I decided to go in Gudra just in case he's like super powers so I can get a plus one in special attack. But he ends up going for the knockoff, knocking off my assault vest, and I honestly lose it. And even just by losing my arm, I already lose like a very big special defensive wall on my team. But it's all okay. He ends up switching out Tangela and goes into Mimikyu. I break his disguise with Sludge Wave. And right here, I just go into Aggron since it's the best thing to take out Mimikyu. He sets, he goes just straight for the play rough, expecting me to stay in for some odd reason, thinking that he could, I could like put on some offensive pressure on him. Right here, going to Araquanid, because what I expected him to do right here was to go into Esperon, predicting me to go for a Stealth Rock, so that way, with Magic Bounce, it would not put the Stealth Rocks back on my side and put him at a good momentum range. But he ends up not going to Esperon and staying in and goes to the Storage Dance. So this puts me at a bad spot right off the back. So I need to go back into Agron to take in the play rough that is about to come in. And after this turn, I go for the Mega Evolution, which boosts my defense. And what I did not know is that Mimikyu gets Drain Punch. Yes, I did run max uh, defense and almost max HP, which did take the Drain Punch plus the filter, which just narrows the Drain Punch down to only doing like a third of my health. And I just hit back with the Heavy Slam and just knock out the Mimikyu. So honestly, he caught me off guard with the Drain Punch, but if I felt relieved because I did knock out the Mimikyu. Right here, being the Tyranitar. Now, it's a Tyranitar set up right here. I just... So what I did right here was set up, was he brings the Tyranitar. And right here, I go for the Heavy Slam, depending on if he decides to set up a Dragon Dance. If he did set up Dragon Dance, I would go into Ride On and... Click Earthquake just to get rid of the Tyranitar because Heavy Slam would have done like a third, at least like a third of its health, and Earthquake could have finished off the Tyranitar. But he ends up just clicking Earthquake and taking out the Aggron. So right here, I do what I what would have happened if he set up. I go into actually no wait, thinking ahead. Don't need to do that. Right here, I just go into Gudra. Just because I do want to do that big damage uh, with Superpower. 
he ended up going for the Stone Edge. I was honestly scared of Ice Punch because if he did with like Max, Max Attack Adamant Nature, Ice Punch would have killed. And if he ran Jolly, he would have had like a 40% chance to knock me out. But he ends up going for Stone Edge. He does miss, and the superpower brings him down to 15%. And right here, after taking cell, uh, sand damage, I go into Rhydon, predicting him to go for the Stone Edge again. And having Rhydon taken that little bit of damage. Right here, um, I go for the Rock Polish, just so I can have like a little bit of momentum. And to be out outspeed his Pokemon. Right here, to outspeed the Tyranitar. He just clicks Earthquake, so right here he just swaps out in a Crobat. I did not. Did, I was about to make the play about going to Rock Slide just so when the Crobat comes in, it does get knocked out. But I ended up just going for the Earthquake, just trying to get rid of the Tyranitar to see off the back. So he makes prediction after that. Right here, I was real scared about the Crobat. Because if this thing was special, I would have lost right on. But it turned out to be a physical. I think it might have been like a utility set. Because Brave, Brave Bird only did 15%. And the rock side just end up finishing it off. So it could have been like a utility set or probably just been max attack. And I would not have known it. So right here brings the Toxic Packs. I just wanted some damage off of Toxic Packs. So I did earth click Earthquake. From this damage, I knew that this thing was physically defensive. And so I made a play and went into Victini. Right here. He had really no counter to Victini. So right here, I put this... Just made a play that he would stay in. And they click Psychic Psy straight off the back. He would bring the Tyranitar. And no matter what Pokemon he brought in. Which he did bring Tyranitar. I was just going to click a U-turn. Which though he did bring in Tyranitar. Made it a better playoff for me. Because I was now able to U-turn into Galvantula. Though the thing that did worry about me. Is that if Espeon was Scarf. And was Timid. That it, it would outspeed me and knock me out. The thing even though I had a Rakuen in the back, it was still bad to have Galvantula up front. But it's still okay, because this turn, I ended up outspeeding him. I believe he must have been modest, because Timid, Max Speed, Espeon does outspeed Galvantula. But since it was modest, Galvantula was able to outspeed. I was able to knock the Espeon. I was able to do a whole bunch of damage to the Neck Buzz Buzz, Bug Buzz, and the Tangela, and able to finish off with Hidden Power. And that was the whole game. Sorry, I did not um, prep that I needed to do. So this gives me future references that I need to prep for level 50 Pokemon for the next battle. But anyways, what can you do? I hope you guys enjoy and we'll see you all in next week. Thank you for watching and goodbye.